Imagine if you woke up every day knowing exactly how to build your money rather than only spend it. What if you could change your attitude to money and, in doing so, your life? The money rules that could be your key to prosperity will be simplified today. Salutations to all. We will dissect the 10 fundamental money rules you must know in order to get wealthy in this video. These are the golden guidelines that will enable you to create long-lasting wealth. They are not just suggestions. This video is for you whether you want to improve your financial situation or are beginning from scratch. Watch through to the very finish, since every rule is a first step toward financial mastery. Spend less than you earn. The first and perhaps most important rule is to spend less than you make. Consider your income to be a huge, tasty cake. Purchasing something is like slicing a piece of that pie every time. Slices taken mindlessly will eventually run out of pie. Spending money on the newest phone or the hippest trainers is incredibly tempting. You won't have any money left over to support you later on, though, if you spend it all as soon as you obtain it. Consider it this way. You will always have a piece when you truly need it if you save a tiny portion of your pie every time you get paid. And eventually, the extra pie can support major purchases, like a house or a dream vacation. Make a budget. Talking about budgeting comes next. See a budget as your own financial roadmap. For your protection, it displays where your money should go each month. On a road trip, a budget helps you navigate your spending, much as a map does. It indicates when to pass on a purchase and when to say yes so you can invest or save money. You take charge of your money, rather than it controlling you, when you create a budget. List all of your monthly income first. Then keep track of every penny spent on, anything from food and rent to movie nights. You can identify ways to save more or perhaps even find a little extra for a treat now and again after you recognize the patterns. Save early and often. Now let's dive into a very important rule. Save early and often. The best time to start saving is as soon as you earn your first dollar. Why? Because the earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. Imagine each dollar you save as a tiny seed you plant in the ground. With time and a little patience, these seeds sprout and grow into a big, beautiful garden of money. This doesn't just mean putting a few coins in a jar, although that's a good start. It means setting up a savings account and regularly adding a little bit from each paycheck. Even small amounts can grow big over the years with interest. And the best part? This garden gives you security and options for the future, whether it's for an emergency, a big purchase, or even retiring comfortably. So grab your metaphorical gardening tools and start planting those money seeds today. Avoid debt. Let's tackle a big one, staying away from debt. Think of debt like a huge storm cloud that could burst any minute. When it rains, it pours, and before you know it, your picnic is ruined. Especially watch out for those tricky credit cards and loans with high interest rates. They might seem helpful at first, but they can quickly grow into a downpour. That's hard to escape from. If you already have debt, it's important to deal with. It is if you're stopping a leak before your whole house gets flooded. Make a plan to pay it off bit by bit. You can start small, maybe by paying more than the minimum due each month on your credit cards. Every little bit extra helps to stop that leak faster. Think of being debt-free as the sunshine after a storm, clear skies and peace of mind. Invest wisely. Next up, investing. It might sound a bit daunting, like learning to ride a bike. There are gears and balance and the fear of falling off. But just like biking, once you get the hang of it, it feels great and can take you to amazing places. Investing your money can really help it grow over time. Start small and simple. You don't need to jump into complicated things like stocks or bonds right away. Maybe try a savings account that earns interest, or look into a retirement plan like a 401k, especially if your employer matches your contributions. That's free money. As you get more comfortable, you can explore other options. Each step you take in investing is like pedaling a little farther, getting you closer to your financial goals. Build multiple income streams. Now, let's think about diversifying. Having different sources of income. Imagine you're a farmer. If you only grow one type of crop and bad weather hits, you could lose everything. But if you have corn, beans, tomatoes, and more, you stand a better chance of having a good harvest no matter the weather. In the same way, Having money come in from different places can really help you stay financially stable. Maybe you have your main job, but what if you also made money from a hobby, like photography or crafting? Or perhaps you could rent out a room in your house? 
Each source of income is like its own crop field. The more you have, the less you worry about one drying up. And who doesn't like the sound of extra cash coming in from different places? It's a way to build security and maybe even let you retire early or take that dream vacation. Protect your money. Keeping your money safe is like wearing a helmet when you ride a bike. You hope you won't need it, but it's vital for protection just in case. That's where insurance comes into play. Think about all the things you value, your health, your home, your car. Having insurance for these is like having a safety net to catch you if something goes wrong. Health insurance can help with medical bills if you get sick. Home insurance can cover repairs if your house gets damaged. Car insurance can fix or replace your vehicle after an accident. It's much better to have these protections in place before you ever need them, so you're not caught off guard by life's surprises. Learn continuously. Managing money isn't just something you learn once and then forget. It's more like a skill that gets better the more you practice it. Stay curious and keep learning. You can read books, watch educational videos, or even talk to people who know a lot about money. The world of finance is always changing and there's always something new to learn. By keeping up to date, you can make smarter decisions and find new ways to make your money grow. Be patient. Building wealth takes time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Just like in a long race, there will be moments when you feel like you can't go on or when things don't go as planned. Maybe you face a big unexpected expense or your investments dip temporarily. It's important not to let these moments discourage you. Stay the course, keep your goals in sight, and keep moving forward. Wealth grows over time through careful planning and steady saving. Give back. Finally, think about the importance of giving back. Sharing your success isn't just about good karma. It also helps build a stronger, healthier community around you. When you help others, you create a better environment for everyone, including yourself. This can mean donating money to charities, supporting local businesses by shopping at them, or helping a relative pay for school. Every act of generosity contributes to a cycle of positive change. Conclusion. Okay, those are the golden laws of money that everybody who wants to become wealthy needs to learn and understand. It is important to keep in mind that understanding money is not simply about being wealthy. Rather, it is about acquiring independence, stability, and the opportunity to make decisions that improve your life. Begin putting these guidelines into practice right away and observe how your financial world transforms as a result. If you found this video to be helpful, please feel free to like it, subscribe to it, and share it with others. Please leave a comment below. If you have any queries or if you have any suggestions of your own, I would be delighted to hear from you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the future video.